Hello world, it's Fudgeball47 here and yeah, welcome back to another video. So, if you saw my last video, it was like 40 seconds long, I showed how sodium can drastically improve the performance of Minecraft. So, I'm wondering if sodium is actually able to make Minecraft run on crap. So, our two contestants here, we got a Microsoft Surface Pro with an i5 6300U, I believe, clocked at 2.4 gigahertz. So this one's not too bad. Um, but then we got this, a Fujitsu Lightbook, Lifebook, I mean, with a Intel Core 2 Duo U9400, clocked at 1.4 gigahertz. I don't know if you can see it, but it's stuttering at the main menu right now. Alright, so first I'll be performing tests without sodium, and then I'll do it with sodium. So, the graphic settings that these things are at, they were doing 1280 by 720 resolution, and 8 chunks for render distance, because I think that's, that's a good render distance to play at. Then basically everything else is cranked to low, like particles are minimal, clouds are off, entity shadows are off. Um, entity distance is at 100%, because playing with, you really don't want to play with it lower. Alright, let's perform the first test. Alright, we are loaded into a world here, and yeah, it does look horrible, the recording setup, but I'm not going to put a recording software on these guys, because it'll totally peg the performance. Alright, well, let's see what sort of FPS we're getting. Oh wow, this is lag. Uh, <laughs> eee, this is bad. So we're getting like, looks like 30 FPS when we're within loaded chunks. Nope, we're going up to 40. Yeah, I mean, I could use a logging tool to log the frame rate, but like, <laughs> that would peg the performance of this poor machine even more. Ugh. So with no performance mods on the Surface Pro, we are averaging about 30 FPS. It's like, it's jumping between 20 and 40, so yeah. 1% lows are in the single digits. I saw it go as low as 8 frames per second. So, I mean, it's kind of playable. With Optifine it's actually much better, but this is a video about sodium, so we're not going to be looking at Optifine. Yes, biome blend is at zero, so the water looks ugly. You probably can't even tell. All right, let's test out the ancient laptop from what? I don't know, Babylon or something. All right, let's try this machine from ancient Babylon. Oh no, this is horrible. What on earth? Two frames, three FPS. Ah. <laughs> yeah, sorry for the weird flickery screen. It's something the camera does. Oh, we hit 10 F, zero FPS. Oh gosh. Oh. Yeah, I think you guys get the idea. We're in the single digits. This is not playable, not by any stretch of the imagination. Oh. oh my gosh. I mean, what happens if we set render distance down to I can't see a thing mode? Hey, we got... Oh my gosh. We're still in like the single digits for frames per second. It was at 20 for a second. Oh. Uh. Oh, we're climbing, we... Okay, so with the 8 render distance that we have for our testing, it's single digits. With 2 render distance, you sometimes break out of the single digits. Yes, this is absolutely horrible. Never play Minecraft on a machine like this, at least not Java Edition. Actually, well, let's we'll see if sodium makes a difference. Alright, it's time to do our sodium tests. 
All right, we are now running Sodium on the Surface Pro. Um, graphic settings are exactly the same as before, but Sodium adds a few more graphic settings that improve performance. Those are all set to maximum performance. Um, all right, let's go. Let's see what we got. And if, if you hear whirring or like fan noises in the background, well, that's the Fujitsu Lightbook Lifebook just going whir. I'm torturing the poor thing. <laughs> oh, hi, we can see my face. Hello there. All right, let's see. How does this handle it with sodium? Okay, so far it's not that great. Uh, wow, is this really running sodium? Really? Oh, wait a minute. No, we're climbing. I guess it just needs some time to float into the world. Hey! Looks like we're averaging like 45 FPS when in loaded chunks. Alright, let's try creating new chunks. Okay, yeah, that's pinning down the performance. Yeesh, we got into the single digits when creating new chunks. Alright, let's land here and let all the chunks load in and see what we got. Whoa, 60 FPS? We just hit 60 FPS for a second. Wow, this is this is playable. Like I could actually play this. That's that's nice. Very nice. So yeah, we're hitting 60 FPS from time to time. Looks like we're averaging like 45. Um maybe even higher. We're averaging maybe like 55 when we're in loaded chunks. But when we generate new chunks the performance falls as expected. Yeah, on my gaming PC, when my render distance is at 32 chunks, if I load in new chunks really quickly, the FPS will drop from about 150 to 80. So it's understandable that it dies when loading in new chunks. But I mean, yeah, this is not this is not horrible. Like, I mean, if I were to go somewhere and this is the only option I had. I mean, yeah, this is great. Um, let's hope we can say the same for the Fujitsu Death Book. All right, we are now playing on the Fujitsu Sloth Book. And let's see how it handles it with sodium. You know, I don't think it's going to be good placing my bet right there. So yes, keep in mind, this is on version 1.16.5, so I find newer versions can sometimes be less performant. The best performing version I find is 1.14.4, um, so if you're fine rolling back to that version, you might get better performance out of your old laptop. Alright, we are in! Let's see what performance we got. Oh gosh, it's all the way. It's still on the single digits, although the world hasn't all loaded up yet. Let's just let it render in the eight chunk distance. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's just give it a chance to render in, but I don't have much faith in this guy. I don't think this is going to be playable. Uh help plus send help I can't even jump help okay yeah if you want to see anything not even sodium can help you but what happens if we do chunks at two can't even press apply because it's so laggy. Wow, that is hot air coming out of there. Hey, I just saw 15F. Wow, we're still in the single digits with sodium and bare minimum graphics settings. This is horrible. Okay, so you cannot play 1.16.5 on a Core 2 Duo in Intel HD graphics. Not even sodium can help you. Alright, so the conclusion. 
So on newer hardware, sodium will improve performance by like five times, which is pretty insane. And on older hardware, so that's talking about the Surface Pro, so the CPU is a low power CPU that is about five generations out of date now. And of course running Intel graphics, which are horrible in every way. Um, sodium improves performance by about two times, so that's pretty good. So if you have like a if you have a somewhat modern work laptop, Sodium will probably be able to get you playing Minecraft. Um, of course, I'll provide download links in the description. And then for ancient hardware, unfortunately, Sodium cannot help you. It didn't really even improve performance at all on the poor Core 2 Duo and its Intel HD graphics that go with it. So, try out Sodium on your own low power machine. If it's at least somewhat modern, you should be okay, but if it's from like the prehistoric era, well, it ain't gonna help. Alright, so thanks for watching this video, and download Sodium in the description. Goodbye!